Hello and welcome, my name is Neil Oust, and this is episode 61 of our Let's Play campaign on Modular Megabase. Well, last time we built this little thing up here, and I think it actually makes kind of sense, because now there are eight rows, two for each of these, and one for each of the other ones. Having them come out on both sides is actually a bit overkill. I've also added a, another one for lubricant, because then we can request lubricant and petroleum, and that means everything here is something we already have. Let me just grab some extra beacons because we know we're gonna get need extra beacons. Uh, what else? We're probably also gonna need a few extra of these. What else could we need extra of? Maybe some of those. And I don't know. We'll we'll get up there. I think we'll just head up to. It's now called everything. It's called everything lubricant. Go. We're gonna head up there. So I've also spent a bit of time clearing this space out. This will enable us to build long trains coming in from all this far out here coming in and docking in here basically for a huge iron and copper smelting facility well not huge but just big right so let's um let's just get started on this one what do we know at this point we know that ah oh, now i forgot it i forgot the uranium part and that's actually one of the critical first things all right this is going to be our bus that's for sure. So let's start by that one. You know, that's actually a really good idea that I left one out. Can I? I think they're already in here. Yep, they are. Waiting for auto save. Here. What? All right. How can that be a thing? There. This one is going to be uranium, just so I have a chance. Next one was. Nope. Stone, first stone, stone, uranium, oops, oh, I can't even do that, I'm going to go up on this side, there we go, so this one was coal, steel, copper, two of those, and iron, two of those, now I know what's now coming in, and the idea here is that I will be having Something like this, and then I'll have something along these lines. Just um, this is just, of course, tentative, but just the idea of it is I will figure out what I need to make. But you know, first things first, first, we need to figure out what to build and in what ratios. All right, let's start. Let's start by looking at this one. Green circuits, oh, absolutely, we need green circuits. We need red circuits, we need blue circuits. Yep, probably need a few more of everything, but let's... <clears throat> All of these things we do not need. Uranium fuels, I might need that one. Just gonna go up from up here. Engines. Instance, I don't know if I want that one, but I guess I do. Oops. Nothing else here that I would want or need. None of these. What would I want here? Then I guess I'd want. The reason I'm doing this differently is because it's only from that context. That actually is. Then, then I could do it the same like this, right? Oops. There we go. And let's see what else we need. Let's see. All right. We need those. We are artillery shells. Yes. But then artillery shells also means going back artillery shells. That means explosives. Where are the explosives? Oh, they're not crafted in one of those. They are crafted in... Right? Explosive, yes. And they come from... Here. Sulfur comes... Okay, so that's not a problem. What else are we needing? We need radars. Fine. There. And this one changed to radar. Not that I really need radars for anything else. What else do I want from here? 
Uh, destroy capsules. I don't really know if I do. Maybe. Distractors and then these. What else? None of this. No. Tool like grenades? I don't think so, to be honest. Walls. Is it sorts? Yeah, that I need. Which again means going back. Oops. Here. Batteries. Plastic. Plastic. I guess this also needs plastic. I don't know what I'm doing here. This way, I'm just trying to get an overview of how much I actually need. All right. Keep it coming. What else? Now this one. Oh. Dear, that's a lot. Well, boilers, nope, nope. But you're gonna have these these things, which basically is some of these things can just be copied. I'm just uh, just thinking now because this one is not going to be enough for sure. There's going to be at least two more over here for liquids. That one will be petroleum. No, nope. that one will be that'll be lubricant, and I guess I'll be have some more as well. I was going to have green circuits for sure will be something we are going to carry. <sighs> but remember, it's not like we want a million of things. We just want things to operate. And yeah. I'm most concerned about what nuclear reactor, where is it? That one, the centrifuge. Hmm. I'm, I'm not really sort of feeling this how it should go. Let's start at least from over here by saying, let's try to work on the green circuit because green circuits, we must have that somewhere. This thing here is a green circuit built and it delivers. I think we have, a, isn't there more on the green circuits down here? Yeah, that one is a full blue belt, if I recall correctly. So why don't we just take this? Go. And I guess it'll be something like this, right? That'll be the first step. And then I guess we'll take here. Only the last one is incorrect. There. Would it be better? Okay, so only the last one is directly adjusted and thereby losing some value, but that's actually not that bad. And make sure these two have their pipes. Underneath pipes here, boom. There we go. Is this as far as it can do? Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's one green. It's way too close, way too close. Oh, okay. Can I, it's actually supposed to be like this. Good. Um, <clears throat> this one will then lead into the red circuits or the blue circuits. So we can get, get the red circuits at this point.
Yes. Lubricants. You know what I also want is... Oh, uh, actually, I have to take this out. This comes later. Nope, it actually comes first. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm a bit torn on this one. I'm going to put you down there. Oops, I still have so big an area that it's not really a problem because what I really want is actually taking this simple one. I kind of like this one. It's very simple. And let's take it because that's going to be like the first thing. Off you go. And then I forgot the one I needed. This is rather complicated way of doing this there. I don't want any of these. What else is there? Yeah. So that's going to be like the first thing. I wonder if that's going to cut it. And wow. blue okay and i'm missing blue inserts and i also miss an awful lot of everything else those i do not have i could get them though here boom upgrade all of these will be upgraded because i don't know why but because i don't want red ones around Got it, this one. And of course, it's stupidly expensive to do it this way. But it's a one-time thing, so it doesn't matter. can't remember what's what here and uh, I guess the outer one is the red one all right so that's good then I just need you of course I not have nothing to do here thank you very much there we go so that's the green one and the red one comes in on the outer link great I'm just gonna build some blue so these what are we missing we're missing inserters we're missing Green circuits, right? No, iron. We are actually missing iron. How pathetic that is. You know, I actually want to... What if I... What if I set these up at this point? Hmm. I could do that. I've stopped the science because I was actually uh, draining my production. And I want to deal with that at a different time. This one was, what? Everything stone. So we're going to take stone in. What is a reasonable number for stone? Hmm. Minus 40,000? No station supplying stone found. That is odd, isn't it? No, it's not odd, but okay. This one is uranium. Well, I don't think I want uranium. This is going to be coal, so coal seems fine. Minus 40,000. Yep. Three are inbound. We're going to see how that works. They can go out this way and that way, and they can come in for both sides. It's going to be good. This one is steel. Again, 40,000 on the steel. Ouch. Boom. Only one, two, three, four, five outbound. Ah, ha, ha. That's, uh, that's a lot. And they're going to get stuck at this point. I love it when they come in like this. So that's going to be copper. That is also going to be minus 40,000 on the copper. And with the iron, here comes the coal, my iron, minus 40,000. It's a one-time thing. So yes, it's a lot right now, but it's a one-time thing. Yeah, one, two, three, four, that's 100,000. Oh, what's that? So that's 100,000 we want in, minus 50. You're going to go here, and I want 
minus 100. Yep, how many? Two. This one, it's also going to be minus 100. Yep, you. However, I have to go to stone, I guess. Oh, no. All right, you're going to, I guess you're just going to run away. Too bad. How many are inbound here? Okay, I will just go. I'm going to go back and send this train up here. Back to lubricant. Everything lubricant. Go. And it'll come back. So that's the steel coming in. I like this. It's going to be nice. This one guarantees that they will not merge on the same line. It would actually be nicer if I tore it over. Coal coming in. Steel coming in. Come on. Just stockpiling everywhere. Look at the congestion here on this network. That is quite absurd. But it, it actually also checks to see if uh, how it handles congestion. So far it handles quite well. Why is that? That should not be the case, should it? No, that's actually okay. It doesn't matter if it parks here or here. If it parks here, then it's not going to block anymore. So that is actually fine. Then one more copper coming in and an iron coming in. Go. Actually, it would be slightly faster if these were set here. And now I made some mistake. Here, that one. Boom. Because they do not need to go there. There. How many are still in queue? Not that. One, two, three, four, five, six in queued. And that's iron primarily. And then comes the liquids as well. So iron comes in and there's another iron. The copper will go in as well. And the iron will come in afterwards. This is good. I hope I don't have to change this. Where you are, you're done. Get out of the way. And then we have the liquids coming in. Do we also have lubricant? Yep, one lubricant at least. There. So, I don't know. It's still parked on the main line. It's better because there could be someone from the other side. Yeah, I think that's good. All right. And that's another one. What are you doing? Really? But you have nothing in there. That seems very strange. How much do you have again? Oh, right. It has to be dispatched. There's the lubricant train. And it's empty. Almost at least. Really? How can that not be? Those planks don't. How's this one? I have to do that. Just to make sure that I can empty it. Hmm. That's strange. 15? What is that? That's... There you go. Okay. So now this is all stacked up. I tested how it worked on the conditions of stress. How is these working? That's 18 million. What is this one looking like? It's looking at 85. So that's good. All right. So what is it I want? I want from this one, I want, for example, all of these, probably all of these, uh, maybe all of these. And again, I have to create plastic. That's horrible. You'll start with this and let's figure out how we do this. Can we do like 
like this, generally, I guess. Hmm. If I take it here, then it won't work. So I have to basically do... I have way too many. And then they're stuck in the middle. This one might be a good occasion for doing this. Or I'm just going to spam them all over the place wherever I feel there might be need for it. Yep, that one. Yeah, that's typical. There. That one. That one, that one, that one, and then some random one over there. Great, everything here is working. We are gonna get start get started on the first part. We that one's good. This one as well. This one is going to be coming from. Here, green circuits. Definitely gonna be needed. Red circuits, we don't really know where they're coming from, but if I have to be honest, then they are not needed until the very end. So screw it, we can get it somewhere else. There, oh, that one's actually doing, oh, there's actually a few, all right. like this cool now this one has to be the next one get it nope it is actually a lot slower than i thought building this does this make sense yep. like this and this one goes out I think we have fast robots and this is the outbound let's see outbound goes like this let's uh, give it a shot here this one is the copper copper comes from here that one that's copper can't really do it any more any different yeah and the iron comes hmm yeah well actually maybe I can come on the distance here Like this. No stations of blank stone. We are keenly aware of that. That is there. So that one is okay. Let's give it a shot. Just by let's actually take all of these and just shove them further down. Just so you know what we're dealing with. Like this. And take it out. See, this one should be easy. Oh, it's not even, it's not going to be full. I think I need to fix that as well. Can we fix it? How would we fix it? Um, by these actually. Ah, of course. Like this. That's how it's going to be for all of them. So if this doesn't make any sense to you, then the point is first I'm going to merge them in here so that they get evenly on both from here. So they're going to split one from that, one from that, and then I'm going to merge it in. So this way 
I'll guarantee that it'll be evenly taken out from both of them. That is pretty much the only one I only way I know that I can do this. Otherwise, it has to be it's something that isn't really balanced. And you'd think that at this point I would have realized that a blueprint could do what I need for me. How many times would I need to do the same manual action before I realized that I should just build a blueprint? There we go. So that is now more throughput. Great. Like, look at this. And all of this is not working because it is dependent on that. So I don't have any red circuits, unfortunately. And I can't just, like, make it. Can I? Well, I don't know. I could, but it would be really ugly. I mean, I could do like that one. No. I just need a teeny tiny bit of plastic and I'm so lazy that I don't bother going home for it. Plastic. And then I go up here. Select something as much as I can carry and put it in here. That's not it. That's it. Great. So I have plastic because if I have plastic, then I can um, can handcraft some of these silly things. And what is it I can I wanted this for? I can't even recall what I wanted to handcraft these silly things for. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Okay. I don't recall. I know that I wanted these, but I can't remember what I wanted them for. Silly me. It was like, oh, I just need a few so I could craft something. Hmm. I guess we're going to wrap this one up at this point because I, for one, I can't really remember what it was I wanted. This one is going to work fine. It would be nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I get it. This, It's these, of course. Like that. Oh, lots of plastic. Let's see. They actually take forever to build these advanced circuits. What? That's a lot. Come on, impatient. Two more. Oh, I, I can't. How many are missing? See, this is good. Great. That one should be... Oh, right. I also need some bubble ports in order for this to work. Because I am going to... I'm probably going to make one more station up here. But it'll be a pack station so I can get in here, like, safely. 19, 19, 19, 19. That's too much. And I'm going to kill that one. Did it just... It bounced up. Not as fast as I'd like, but whatever. And that means I should, could, and ought to be able to do something like this, except not that one, and not these either, and not these. Is that the same distance? No, that's the same distance. But it's also not correct. It'll be like this. And that will have a name. It'll be called Everything Hex. There. There we go. From here. That will... I suppose it'll work fine. It actually just should be a normal station. And that one will have here. And a light here as well. Great. And that means... Oh, 
We are also gonna get that one. Great. So now we also have a pack station. You are actually gonna go to the pack station instead. There. Go. There we go. Okay, so time for me to wrap up this episode. I think there's, we are making good progress. Although this one is, mm, it's taking a bit longer than I actually had foreseen. There's a lot of just uh, finicky things about this, but at least it's working again now. So thank you for joining. Hope you'll be back in the next episode as we continue to build our little build everything base. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.